my channel, we're Dos Cavazos, and this is the season finale of My Hero Academia. So we wrapped up the My Villain Academia arc, and we found out a lot about Shigaraki. Mm -hmm. uh, Shigaraki actually being All For One's the last name, too. That was a big reveal. But he has leveled up beyond our wildest dreams. He looks like he is like a force to be reckoned with now, whereas before, he kind of seemed like, oh like a pestering nuisance in the background. It seemed like, you know, someone was gonna be able to take him out. It kinda just seemed like, you know, he hadn't taken that extra step that obviously All For One wanted him to. Yeah, this My Villain Academia arc was really, really fun, uh, different and exciting. I yeah. know a lot of manga readers had already, you know, seen it mm. um, and witnessed everything that happened in it. Uh, but just for, like, those of us who watch the anime, just to see, like, something different and, like, even the title change and all that, it was yeah. just really fun. Like, the whole theme change. It was, it was just a fun little thing to see. Um, and then the story was also really good, being able to focus on uh, the League of Villains. Um, was pretty cool. Or the Paranormal Liberation yeah. Front now. I feel like this season has set up a lot for things going forward. We obviously got the hint earlier on this season about Deku and all the powers for One for All and all the quirks that he's gonna undoubtedly discover. It seems like he's gonna need him now going up against Shigaraki. And then obviously the tease of the Metal Liberation Army in the first place, that was just like this epic battle. It seemed like it was going to be like looming in the background as well. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions. We also do have a second channel called Dos Cavazos IRL where we do blogs and other non-reaction content. And if you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. What happened in Dega? It was you guys, right? If only someone had been strong enough to stop the league sooner, those poor citizens might not have died. I'm not sorry. <gasps> oh! Genus. But you did kill somebody. How heroic. He didn't kill him, did he? That has to be fake. Need to get the full picture and alert Endeavor and the others before things are too far gone. If you're too slow, it'll be the end of Japan. Wow, you got a <laughs> tough job. <laughs> For the next four months, your life will be one of hellish agony. When you come out on the egg? other oh, side, like some you survive, the world will be in the <laughs> palm of your hand, even one for all. Of the many designs your master had for this world, that power was the only one that didn't end up going to plan. What? Like, meaning he, he he's gonna it? get it? Or meaning he's gonna, like, <clears throat> be able to control who has it? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get it, right? Because, I mean, if he gets it, it'll almost kind of mirror, like, you know, Deku and All Might, you know, and the whole ability to pass that down. Maybe that's what he's been working at. Yeah, I mean, technically... Because they've been doing so much with his type of quirk. Well, technically, All for One started One for All. Yeah. But he's never been able to pass down his power. He can yeah. give quirks, but not, like, his ability to make it, you know? Oh my <laughs> Did it censor? It censor? <laughs> oh, all the students again! We haven't seen the whole crew in yeah. a long time. Liberate yourself, children. <laughs> <laughs> They've been training too. Yeah. I mean, they're getting a lot stronger. You earned it with your own valiant efforts. She's gonna be proud. Are you proud? Like that was so long ago. You don't look back at me for approval anymore, do you? Aww. Aww. Oh, you oh it. yeah! You don't need to. Keep going, young man. Oh. Wow. Well, Mr. Aizawa! Sorry to bother you during your break. Eraser head. It's about Harry. <gasps> what? What's going on? Thank goodness. It's my horn. Aww. Oh, bitch. You're in excellent hands at UA. Her little room? <laughs> I couldn't figure everything out. But you have to keep moving forward. Previous success. The next step is yours. Quirks. Oh, so he's gonna start looking into the quirks. Mm. Read closely. I collected as many details about one for all. Success. I've been like so excited to mm -hmm. find out like what actually these quirks are gonna be. Much as a like whisper, Bakugo looking at it. <laughs> third users. Oh, nothing on the, the second and third. They live through and the nature of the ability. The official records aren't going to be helpful to us. From what we know, All for One was obsessed with this quirk. During huh. a time when evil had more power than you could possibly comprehend now, All for One crushed anybody who could be considered strong. 
They weren't chosen ones. They were just the people who received the power, and the people who passed it on, in a fight that kept repeating itself. Yeah, that tracks. No wonder they all died young. Wow. Oh. What if All Might's like the oldest one that survived? The next yeah. power you should manifest is Float. Float? Oh, oh no, no! Oh. Ability. Oh. A new ability. Hmm. And from Nanashimura, All Might's master. I win! What? <laughs> <laughs> I use my explosions to fly! <laughs> I'm gonna waste time learning something I've basically been able to do forever! <laughs> no! Crashing and burning. I, I win. Even more at the work study. Oh. Choke on my smoke! <laughs> um, uh -uh. I'll learn it fast and catch back up to you. <laughs> He's like talking oh, back. He's like, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Bakugo, you're just here to like talk crap, but you like being here. So. Yeah. What fool cut the chives? I did. You've shamed your sister. <laughs> your sister? Cause he liked the meal. <laughs> <laughs> you shamed your sister. <laughs> now, friends. The long-awaited work-study exchange and starting the term off with a bang hot pot party is ready to begin. Hot pot. Let's eat up. You. How it's the way. Oh my gosh, Mineta. So popular with the lady. Oh gosh. Yeah, Mineta, sounds to me like you're concerned you won't pass. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'm kind of worried. Jenna, I was just laughing. I have a message from Sukauchi. He wants to postpone your meeting with Stain for now. Stain? By the way, how's young Ari? Sleeping like a baby. My plan is to start her formal training this week. She's gonna train. I decided to keep on living. Thing is, how do I put this? I feel so powerless. It would seem that you're still a workaholic. What? No. You defended us almost on your own for decades. <laughs> but you are still able to help them. By being at their side, your presence is enough to inspire greatness. That's the truth. Oh! Don't apologize for being alive. X day. We'll be here soon. Oh. So exciting! There's a lot teased in this episode. I know. Let's see if they have like a end credit scene. In the last season, I'm pretty sure that's where we saw like uh, Awful mm -hmm. One's brother pop up. I like that it was like a combo of recap, but also like not also at the same teasing time. for the future. It was, yeah. it was cool. Yeah. Cause sometimes, like, I feel like in season the finale, the beginning episode like, is always kind of like recap, right. and the end episode is like cool. more like half recap or yeah. something like that. But this one didn't really feel like it that much. No, it really felt like it's setting things up for mm -hmm. me. It says we have an expeditionary operation. So, like a work field trip? Hold on, for real? That's weird. Same for us. Our agency too. What? I wonder why. Uh, is it happening? Is it X day? Oh my. Die, you ready to do your best in first grade? Oh, I got an endeavor going. Who are you, little child? The paranormal liberation front was plotting, and the harrowing incident that would shake superhuman society was about to begin. Oh, oh my, my god, so what is it, right? All right. So I thought what this episode really did and what ser what purpose it served was really setting up all the stuff yeah. we're going to see. They kind of touched on so many different things here. Going back to the beginning of the season with the quirks with Deku and he has a notebook now of all but two uh, quirks that he, right. he, I think it was third and fifth this is the ones they couldn't get any information on. Um, but we do, I think, find out our next quirk we're going to find out about in Nana's quirk, which is Float. Float, that's exciting. So I wonder if he'll be able to like fly in a sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know if float means fly or whatnot. Yeah. Um, it's just so interesting because like All Might's helping him through this journey, but like he never got to experience any of these other quirks. Yeah. You know, all he had was uh like the power essence kind of, you know, yeah. one for all. Um so that's just like really interesting that he's like discovering these along with him and like Deku being able to use all of these is gonna be pretty insane. I mean I feel like eventually he'll be able to use all of them. Yeah. But even the fact that he has like two quirks right now is crazy. Yeah, I uh, I can't help. I've been saying this since probably so early on, but I feel like All Might's gonna die in this series for whatever reason. And like the way that he like was teasing that about um, uh, oh I want to live, I want to help out. I don't know. It just really mirrors that like you know what Shigaraki with this new founded power is gonna go up for All Might, and then I feel like Deku is going to have to you know, kind of avenge him a little bit. And I don't know if that's anytime soon or not, but they did make reference he's going to meet with Stain, 
Like, yeah. we haven't seen Stain since season two. I love Stain. I mean, he's kind of the reason why Shigaraki even had, like, his, like, you know, current mm -hmm. League of Villains that ended up becoming the, the Paranormal Liberation Front. Um, because they were trying to, like, mm -hmm. you know, go for Hero Killer Stain, and yeah. they just kind of, like, you know, took advantage of that. Yeah, so that's going to be really exciting to see him again. I thought he had, like, died for a second, but then I was like, <laughs> but I didn't jail, really yeah. show him, yeah, but... Uh, he, like, saved Deku when the Flying Nomu was trying to take yeah. him, and he, like, stabbed mm -hmm. him and then, like, friggin', like, froze or right. something like that, yeah. The doctor also mentioned to Shigaraki about that, like, he will control one for all. We're not 100% sure if that means, like, he will have the power or if he will control mm. who wields the power, if that makes sense. Obviously, one for all and all for one are very intertwined. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be interesting. It's like, is all for one figuring out a way to pass on the quirk of passing on quirks? Yeah. You know, similar to what one for all even is, like his original brother's quirk was. Um, the secret quirk, I guess, to like pass on quirks nobody knew about. Like, yeah. is he going to figure it out? Is he going to try to like extract it from Deku to give to Shigaraki? Oh. Um, I don't know if that's even going to work out or how that could even work, but... Um, I don't know, it's just pretty crazy. I feel like they are alluding to something along right. those lines. With all the other stuff that they've had with, you know, the overhaul bullets, with the stuff with Aerie, which they were teasing a little bit of an advancement with Aerie's storyline here She's as well, too. Trained. She's gonna get yeah, trained. So that's hopefully cute. that's uh, some positive news for mm -hmm. Mirio. You know, I don't think it's gonna happen all at once, but I feel like if there is an ultimate battle that's, like, on the horizon, I don't know if it's gonna be this first one, but I feel like Mirio is gonna need to be a part of that as yeah. well, too, because he's just, I mean, people were looking at him like he was gonna be the number one when mm -hmm. he came out. Probably not at past Endeavor, right at the at the gate, but he will probably would have ended up getting there. Um, and obviously that was the, the person they were looking to give one for all in the yeah. first place. So I hope that he's able to get his quirk back, but kind of getting back to what I was mentioning right there with like the whole Shigaraki thing, um, you know, with the bullets that Overhaul was producing, teasing a little bit of Aerie's storyline here, um, even like going into the movies, and I know like the movies are kind of some people say they're not canon. I like to think that they're loosely canon because, you know, they kind of fit in, like, their own little realm. And, like, you know, they've teased the movies in the seasons mm -hmm. before. So I like to think that they're loosely canon. But regardless of that, even in the, the second movie, they had Nine, who was also kind of had, like, a similar power to take on quirks. He had, like, nine quirks and whatnot. So it kind of seems like they're kind of working their way towards that, at least in my opinion. Alright, well if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions to My Hero Academia. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.